This is insane. The Chargers had real AI robots at their season open. Look at how weird these are. Wow. Listen, I'm not sure if this is a real AI woman or not, but I will say this. We live in a time period right now where it's so possible for that to be a reality. I don't know if it's, if it's real or not. And that's the sad part about it. Because if technology is that advanced and the average person doesn't know about it, then that causes me to believe that the reality that we know right now can be possibly changing very fast. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, babe, I'm, I'm gonna use the bathroom right quick. Tell your mom to like calm down, like tell her to chill out. You feel me? I'm gonna use the bathroom, you feel me? You feel me? So tell her like to chill, you feel me? Just chill, mommy, I'm coming right back. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to kill you. I love him. I love him. I love him. You don't know what is love. Love was created with a poor guy to, to have sex with you. You have sex with him? It's yeah. a week. It's a week. You don't have sex with my dad the first week. He doesn't exist. He needs some milk. It was another time. Gotcha. Gotcha. She said, oh, it was a mistake. It was a different time. No, she got you. You can't really criticize somebody if you did exactly the same thing. She just following your footsteps. People typically copy what they see their parents do more than what they usually say. Okay, so here's the thing. I hear the girls that be like, you know, I want roses, but I don't want to ask for flowers. I want the man to just do it for me. That's cool and all, but like, just ask for what you want. I get shit because I just ask. Like, you'd be surprised. I remember one time I said I want some diamond earrings and boom. I said, shit, boy. Your clothes mouths do not get fed. This is what you do. You take them to Kroger. Kroger got a sale for a dozen roses only for $8. dollars you be like, damn, but that's real cheap. Let's just get 10 of them. Because what he going to do? He going to tell you no. He not going to tell you no. Huh? Who? Man, that was one of my favorite answers. All right, so here go guy number two. Oh. oh. Who did that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that's why your motherfucking show to toes. Oh, here's. Yup, 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 yup. Yup. Yup, yup. Yup. Jesus. I'm fine. Yeah. this hard. It was on her. It was on her. I think it was your vibe. It was my vibe. But I'm okay, a friendly cool. type you were talking type. shit. But I don't they think took you too serious. He ain't lying. Cuz did fumble real crazy. But this was why I talk about females friends all the time. You see how they all just follow the leader? I always talk about how a lot of women have a herd mentality, group think type of mindset, which is not a negative thing. It's just something that it's just a part of female nature and wanting to have a leader to follow after. But this is why I talk about women's friends so much because if you're dating a woman and she has five friends and all five of her female friends do not like you, it's over because they think together. But they literally didn't start popping the balloons until they saw the other ones popping the balloons, which means they probably thought he was cute at first or attractive or whatever they want to say. I'm here to say you got to pick a struggle with these men. You get fine and sassy, you get fine and nonchalant, or you get ugly and committed. Possible. That explains why a lot of modern day women are so terrible at picking men. If that's their logic, then that's sad. But if I'm someone who's very independent, make my life easier. For me, my life easier as a 20 year old is providing my basic needs. Paying my rent is providing my basic needs. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm someone who's provi providing for myself and I'm not living under my parents' roof. Provide for my basic needs. That's a gift to me. Sorry, passport bros, but it seems like that modern woman mindset is going all over the world now. Ain't pretty soon ain't gonna be nowhere to go to find a traditional woman. At least it don't seem like it. I ain't gonna lie, that transition went crazy. But maybe I'm only thinking that because she a baddie. Cause if you think you're lonely now, if you think you're lonely now, girl, wait until 
to the first girl wait till that rent is due you see he was over there paying half the bills and you was okay till you saw on instagram said it wasn't cool you said you'd rather be paying it by yourself than splitting it with a man and guess what i am the woman that will split it with a man so now i'm just coming up with 850. i'm out of fact i don't even know what i'm gonna do with the other half because i could blow it and now you over there you gotta come up with 2122 so you can take pictures saying you independent oh <laughs> this is so funny like I said earlier, common sense is becoming common again. And it makes me proud because I've been doing content on this channel for like a year and a half now. And I'm starting to see glimmers of hope in the gender war ending and men and women actually getting along again and having families and ending the broken home, broken family dynamic. I don't like how it is now because it's like everybody is dating for something. Nobody's dating genuinely because they want to get to know somebody and build a future with them. It's like, no, do you got money? Can you buy me this? Can you buy me that? And it's just like, can you come make your own money, bum? First, <laughs> first, of all, about first of all, so that you can date who you really want to date. Because at the end of the day, you waste all that time trying to find somebody to finance you when you could have been financing yourself. Ooh. Putting that energy into yourself. Because that's energy you dishing out trying to get money from other people. And that's what's out here in the world. That's all you hear. My homie recently matched with this woman on a dating app. They set up a date. He went up and picked her up. When she got in the car, after about 10 minutes or so, she started criticizing his car because he drives an early 2000 car. Little does she know, this dude is in IT. He almost makes six figures a year. My man makes money. And she literally became uninterested in him, criticized him the whole day, and said that, oh, you probably can't afford this. You probably can't afford that. Making little jokes and stuff like that here and there throughout the whole day because he pulled up in an older car. She judged him based on his car and disqualified him. I don't know what it is, but I've never seen a group of people look so confused in my whole entire life, bro. At first I'm looking like, dang, why they hating on her? But they just confused. I hear a lot of, if he wanted to, he would. But I'm a firm believer, if he knew you wanted it, he would. One thing that I learned about my man specifically, he's not a mind reader. And neither are y'all men. It's one thing to do the bare minimum. But he's not gonna know what makes me so happy if I don't tell him. He's not going to know what I enjoy if I don't tell him. He's not going to know that I love roses if I don't tell him. He's not going to know that I feel so appreciated when I receive flowers whenever he sees me if I don't tell him. Teach your men. Teach your men how to love you. That's where communication comes in. Common sense is finally becoming more common again. <laughs> how would you feel if your girl wanted to hang out with her guy friends? If you're in a relationship, I don't feel like women should hang out with other men unless you're around. It's not an insecurity thing. It's a respect thing. I trust my woman. Yeah, she can go hang out with him. But out of respect for me, she wouldn't. If I've been introduced to the person, like if I know who it is and like the relationship they have and I've been around and vibe, okay. Because I've got female friends. Now, what if she had a past with him? No. Absolutely not. I mean, everybody's got a past. Am I going to continue to blame but her I'm, for but the she did? But he's saying like, so say they had it's sexual just, relations okay. and they're just hanging out by themselves. But she's with me now. At the end of the day, it comes down to trust. You got to trust somebody. If she fucks up, that's on her. But well, that's the temptation, you know? That's on her. At the end of the day, you can't you can't control somebody else. But that goes they're back gonna... to respect. If she respects you, she's not gonna put herself in a place of temptation to fall back in those ways. If they're friends, if they, if, if they made a mistake or what, whatever it may be, maybe they had a thing together, but if that thing is moved into more of a friendship, and who am I to tell them, that's not my place. My place is to be her security. My place is to be who she comes to at the end of the night. If, they, if she chooses me, she's going to choose me every time. As much as I want to disagree with Cuz right here, he's actually right because at the end of the day, a woman's going to do whatever the heck she want to do. If she got to sneak to do it, she's still going to do it. So for him, he's like, ain't no point in trying to control you because you're going to do what you want to do anyway. But at the same time, I do agree with Cuz over here because out of respect, why would your woman want to kick it with a dude she has a past with? It's just disrespectful. And to men, respect is most important, bro.